All right. So in this video, we're going to look at how to solve for the initial temperature using the specific heat equation. So when we want to do that, we always go to our formula, which is Q equals MC delta T. Remember that Q is our quantity of heat as measured in joules, M is our mass measured in grams, C is our specific heat capacity. It's usually given to us, and in this question it definitely is, which is joules, oops, joules per gram degree Celsius. And then delta T is our degree Celsius measure, but specifically it's the change in temperature. So it's the final temperature minus the initial temperature. So we're going to plug in our values, and then I'm going to show you two ways that you can use to solve this question. We'll start with the easier one, and we'll progress to maybe the one that'll um, be a bit more confusing. Um, but I'd like for you guys to have options. So let's go ahead and dig in. Let's identify our Q. Our Q is 29 joules. How we knew that is because it has the unit of joules at the end of it. So this is 29 joules is equal to the mass. The mass is 2.0 grams. We're multiplying that by the given specific heat capacity, which is joules per gram degrees Celsius, times the, the, the change in temperature. The change in temperature, we have um, 130 degrees Celsius as our final temperature minus our initial temperature, Ti. We're going to leave that as the variable because that's what we're solving for. So our first step is to combine like terms. No matter which way that we're going to use to solve this question, we want to combine those terms. So the two terms that we can combine are 2 and 0.14. So if you were to do 2 times 0.14 in your calculator, you would get 0.28. And when you can, um, multiply those, you can cancel out grams. So your units are joules over degrees Celsius. And this is going to be multiplied by 130 degrees Celsius minus the initial temperature, Ti. Now, I'm going to split my screen. I'm going to show you two routes that you guys can go um, to get this question right. Um, that doesn't actually look like it's very close um, to the center, so I'm going to try to redo that. Um, so, our, I'm going to rewrite this equation. Uh, so we're going to start with the easy route. So it's going to be 29 joules is equal to 0.28 joules per degree Celsius times 130 degrees Celsius minus the initial temperature, Ti. So, we're going to go ahead and combine some terms. We're going to divide out 0.28 joules per gram degrees Celsius to both sides. Joules over grams, or joules per degree Celsius. So 29 divided by 0.28 is 103.6. You can cancel out joules since you have one in the numerator and one in the denominator. And that's equal to 130 degrees Celsius minus the initial temperature, Ti. Now, um, our next step would be to subtract 130 degrees Celsius from both sides, 130 uh, degrees Celsius from both sides. Uh, so when we do that, you're going to get negative 26.4 degrees Celsius is equal to the negative initial temperature. Remember, you can't have a negative variable, so we're just going to flip the signs on both sides and write our final answer as 26.4 degrees Celsius equals the initial temperature. Ti, and that would be our final answer. That was the easy method to solving it. It's the most direct way to get to the final answer. Um, so if you are not interested in seeing the next way, then I would recommend you go ahead and move on. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If it did um, provide any type of help for you, please consider giving it a thumbs up and then subscribe to the channel that we have for you. Um, now let's move to the right side. Uh, I'm going to rewrite this equation as 29 joules equals 0.28 joules per degree Celsius times, um, that looks a bit confusing, that looks like a open 8 or something, degrees Celsius times 130 degrees Celsius minus the initial temperature Ti. So this is very similar. If you watched the final temperature video, it's the exact same way. We're going to distribute the 0.28 to everything in these parentheses. Oops, that was the wrong place to draw that to. So we're going to distribute that to Ti. So we're going to rewrite our equation and say that 29 joules is equal to 0.28 
times 130, which is 36.4. And we're going to carry the unit of joules because the degrees Celsius cancel. Uh, ooh, it's not equal to minus 0.28 joules over degrees Celsius Ti. So we're going to combine like terms, which we have here. So we're going to subtract 36.4 joules from both sides. Subtract 36.4 joules from here. That allows us to cancel that out. So it's 29 joules minus 36.4. So you should get negative 7.4 joules is equal to negative 0.28 joules over degrees Celsius Ti. You're going to divide out by point, negative 0.28 joules per degree Celsius. Negative 0.28 joules over degrees Celsius. So that is over negative 0.28. It looks like once you do that division, you will get a positive, because it's negative divided by a negative, 26.4 degrees Celsius. So you can cancel out the units of joules, and you're left with Ti. So we got the same answer going two different ways. Please use whichever way makes the most sense to you. If you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful, please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel. Thanks for checking it out.